Welcome to Abetifin Technical Institute. I'm very happy today to introduce to you a student by name, Master Michael Enegble of the Otto Department, who came into the school and had interest in embarking on some projects. And I'm very excited because sometimes, most of the times, society and parents have misconception about technical education. They think that those children that are less than that or have low IQ are the ones that are to go into technical education. And this man or guy has shown us that that is not never true. He came in with the idea that he wanted to do an automated dustbin. And I would like to ask him, what motivated him? Why did he think of making an automated dustbin? Okay. Uh, back to louder. Uh, back to the uh, basic level, I was having uh, some issue in my right field, uh, and upon that, uh, I used to do investigation. That was some part of the right field was doing well, while some part was also suffering. And the result that I came out was uh, plastics, which was in the soil, and that plastic had released chemicals into the soil and it was totally harming the, some of the part, some parts of the crops. And at uh, that time, there is two things that came in my mind. That was how to collect the plastic waste and how to recycle it. And upon that, I generate an idea of an auto automated dustbin uh, to ginger people to dispose of their plastic waste without leaving it's on the environment. Okay, so and, and you saw that plastic waste was harming your rice field. Aside uh, the plastic waste harming your rice field, is there any other thing that prompted you that we have to do something about plastic waste? Oh, what prompted prompt me was uh, the chemicals which was uh, releasing into the soil mm -hmm. and uh, the its side effects, it's side effects on the uh, biodiversity. On biodiversity, yeah. can you enlighten us a bit on the effects of plastic waste, so that society will be mindful of how they dispose plastic waste? Oh, uh, plastic! It releases numerous harmful uh, uh, chemicals, such as the bisphenol A, uh, which affect the respiratory uh, organ. And a lot, a lot of uh, problems. That okay. Are, so, how does the automated dustbin work? Can, can we see the automated dustbin and how it works? Okay. Right. This is the automated dustbin. Mm -hmm. I made it purposely for collecting the plastic waste. Mm -hmm. uh, the moment that you approach it at a distance, less than 27 centimeters mm -hmm. automatically it will open and within seven seconds mm -hmm. it will close back by itself and also when it is full to uh it will not open there is a sensor situated to monitor the waste level in the beam okay now let me ask you why not any other dustbin but an automated dustbin Okay, that was the problem that I, I had uh, in my rice field. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I decided to make something to ginger the people, you know, to not dispose their plastic waste anyhow to okay. cause effects on the landscape. Okay. So I made... Uh, so with you coming from home, from basic level, you came to do auto. Did you know how to do welding? How come you got to know how to weld, mold this thing? Who are people that gave you that assistance? How did you get to do all these things? Okay. Uh, mechanical HOD. That's Mr. Apu. Mm -hmm. uh, I introduced the project to him before I started. Mm -hmm. And he also uh, introduced me the use of the machine, the do's and don'ts of the machine. And I, I, from that, I was uh, good to go to use the machines. The, and I start learning something small about the, the welding and uh, the fabrication aspects too. Okay, fine. You are going to show to us how it works and those things. Now let's come to the automated aspect. You are an, an auto student. 
but this one the electric component the it component how did you how how do you get to know that this is how it uh, works it will open at this angle and those things how did you get, get all those knowledge yeah <laughs> i just i learned i learned all them learn yeah. you are going to students are going to watch you yeah why did you learn all those things yeah. from by research you know research i made research about at the library or where no i use my simple uh, smartphone you use a smartphone yeah so it is not phones can also be used for something good for learning yeah. not just betting or any other wrong thing okay now after collecting the plastic waste uh like the when the waste is full when mm -hmm. the dustbin is full uh it will send a notification to the sanitation team that the dustbin is full so the sanitation team will come for the the plastic waste so what do you mean by notification like there is gsm module mm -hmm. in it which can send uh i program it with a mobile phone number yeah so when it's full automatically it will send message that the dustbin is full to the sanitation team also from that the sanitation team too will be immediately come for the plastic waste and they will send it to the uh, recycling center that's where the process plant will come into process so imagine that dustbin is full how do we take the refuse from it oh okay uh, you can remove the the so that you can remove the plastic but then after that you can fix it back, back. okay uh, it's it's movable now after we've collected our plastic waste what happens to it then you we'll take it to the recycling center recycling center, center. so, so the plastics it was uh first it will wash to remove uh, dirt and other uh, impurities and also it will dry then from there the plastic will be inserted into the reactor of the pyrosis plant now what do you mean by pyrosis plant what is it oh pyro means heating uh plastics to uh, into a required temperature so the plastic will insert it into the reactor mm -hmm. then it will be tight with uh, knots can you take us into a stepwise process your pyrosis plant and how it works how we are going to get the diesel and those things and any other byproduct that we can think of how yeah. does it work okay uh it's a it's a it's a plant that turns plastics mm -hmm. into diesel yeah we get we, we can get about three products by due to some challenges i i choose uh to we can get even more than uh three crampo you by, can get more by, than three uh, yeah i choose uh buy oil and the diesel buy oil and the diesel. And diesel please let me first know how the plastic is uh converted into these are the various stages or oh, you don't want to share that technology with, with us I, I, I will share it okay then go ahead okay first the plastics will insert it into the uh, reactor mm -hmm. through the feed uh, hooper okay 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 then by the help of the heating system it will heat the reactor into a quite temperature it depends on the type of the plastics uh some can be heated into a temperature of 300 degrees celsius to 400 degrees celsius some can be heated into temperature of uh, 400 to uh, 600 degrees celsius yeah so due to the high thermal efficiency in the reactor the plastic will start to melt to break it down into smaller molecules then the smaller molecules will generate a uh, hydrocarbon gas so that hydrocarbon gas will pass through a uh, drive tube to uh, conde to the condenser then the condenser tool will turn the uh, gas into into liquid uh -huh. so so the, this is the condenser the condenser okay so the first liquid uh, will reach the gas and liquid separator 
So the gas and liquid separator tool will separate the uh, the liquid from uh, the contained uh, gases, which or uh, the condenser was was not able to turn it into uh, liquid. Liquid. Yeah. Okay. So that that uh, gas to go to another condenser. So the next that condenser to will turn the remaining. Uh, Can we see that that condenser you are talking about? Which is there? It's okay. Okay. That's it. Uh, this one? Yeah. Okay. The, Condens okay. the second condenser. Okay. So it will turn the remaining gas, which will give us the. So diesel. you know, we are going to get diesel and what else? And uh, bio oil. Bio oil. And after that, after everything, uh, we can get a uh, carbon uh, black, which can also be converted into charcoal briquettes. Charcoal briquettes can be used for wood construction, many things, because it's having some. Okay, Master Michael Nagle, I'm very much proud of you. As our president said, we have to be uh, citizens and not spectators. You are playing a part. So it is that each individual can also do it. And I'm entreating my students, our tech students, to emulate what your brother has done. That when you have any vision, and I know when you come to Aptech, with the help of the minister, we have a lot of equipment around, and the masters and the principal are always available to help you with your dream. So if you want to choose a new school, the first that must come into your mind is Abitifi Technical Institute, Supreme Aptech. Thank you.